So you want to be a millionaire. Maybe you want a big house, nice cars, a couple of yachts, and maybe a pet lion or two. But what about the more basic parts of your life that we often take for granted? When fast cars, Rolex watches, and private jets just aren't enough to show off your level of wealth to the world, how have some products helped the wealthy take it to the next level of overkill? For more videos that remind you of just how fascinating and wacky our world truly is, don't forget to punch that subscribe button for more knowledge to feed your juicy brains with. Here are 10 everyday things only the richest can afford. Oh god, here we go. The $100 toothpaste. Toothpaste comes in all shapes, sizes, colors, formulas, in what seems to be a huge variety of mint flavors. Is it just me, or does every toothpaste brand have a slightly different minty flavor? Not one toothpaste actually tastes alike. I don't know, just something I noticed, I guess. So how much does toothpaste typically run for? $2? $3? Max $8 if you're getting a really specially formulated one to help whiten your rubber ducky yellow chompers. So why not take it up a notch and give your teeth a luxurious teeth brushing cleanse with Theodent 300 Clinical Strength Whitening Crystal Mint Toothpaste. This is the extra strength version of their classic Theodent toothpaste that runs for a very affordable $11.99 on their website. However, this $100 toothpaste contains an alternative to fluoride that they say has the highest dose of Renu on the market. But uh, what, what is Ren Renu exactly? Well, Renu is Theodent's patented compound whose active ingredient is theobramine, which is found in chocolate along with traces of calcium and phosphate. Chocolate toothpaste? Damn, that sounds good. But I'm not sure if I want to be brushing my teeth with chocolate. Psychologically, I just don't know if I can get on board with that. Knowing me, I'd probably use it less as a toothbrush and cleaning formula and more as a snack. The $175 gold-plated staples because regular old staples just won't do. What better way to impress at a job interview or handing in a school essay than to keep papers in order than with real gold-plated staples? Definitely a surefire way to ace your assignment or win over your boss when you hand in your next report. These 14 karat gold staples were developed in the Netherlands by Ooms and will cost you a steep $175 for a pack of 24. One has to wonder just which 24 items you'll need to staple gold-plated staples with. I mean, you could get really creative and opt to use it on the lapel on your snazzy blazer you got at Target during that sidewalk sale last week. I suppose you could add more value to just about anything with gold-plated staples. How about jewelry? That's one way to impress your partner. I mean, they even come in a sweet velvet jewelry box. You'd be set. So look, they're useful, convenient, and stylish. What's to complain about? Just lock and load these babies into your average everyday stapler, or, I mean, might as well grab yourself a gold-plated stapler while you're at it. And voila, the $300 burger. You know when you're in a rush, McDonald's, Wendy's, and A&W seem like the perfect choices to relieve those spouts of hunger. Cheap, convenient, and pretty freaking tasty, am I right? But what about when those $300 burger cravings start to kick in? What do you do then? Well, Serendipity 3 in New York City has got you covered. For $295, you can experience Le Burger Extravagant, the most expensive burger in the world according to Guinness Book of World Records. And what does the most expensive burger in the world consist of, you might ask? Layered with Japanese Wagyu beef, smoked Pacific salt, cheddar cheese aged for 18 months, 10 herb white truffle butter, black truffles, and a quail egg sandwiched together with a white truffle buttered roll. This delectable luxury burger is skewered with a diamond encrusted toothpick designed by a jeweler, Euphoria, New York. Gosh, so fancy! Because without the toothpick, this burger is nothing special, I'm sure. Thank God for diamond encrusted toothpicks making burgers so much better. Well, the cool thing about Le Burger Extravagant is that profit accumulated from the sales of these pricey burgers go directly towards the Bowery Mission that donates hot meals to the unfortunate, poverty-stricken men and women in New York. I don't know about you guys, but I am totally adding this burger to my bucket list. The $600 Coffee Ah yes, a cup of joe has been a truly timeless way to start your morning right. No matter the cost, be it a quick drive through coffee from your local McDonald's, or a double ristretto venti half soy non-fat decaf organic chocolate brownie iced vanilla double shot gingerbread frappuccino extra hot with foam whipped cream upside down double blended from you know where, coffee is meant to wake you up and keep you productive throughout the day. 
But is it really worth your while to go the extra mile and splurge $600 on a pound of coffee or $50 for a cup? Kopi Luwak coffee beans are a luxury that one might feel did not go through the most luxurious process to get into your cup and down the hatch. These coffee beans have been eaten and fully digested by a creature known as a civet. Civets are small mammals that belong to the Viveridae family. During the digestion process, the coffee beans remain intact inside the animal and go through some kind of bizarre fermentation process which gives the Luwak coffee its special taste. This coffee civet poop is priceless in Southeast Asia and farmers collect it whenever they can. To finalize the process, the beans are washed, dried, and smashed to remove the skin layer and roasted. If you're a stickler for packaging, this coffee can be bought packaged in a Britannia silver and 24 karat gold plated bag at Harrods for just over $10,000. For heavy coffee drinkers, this might be pretty steep, and you might just want to stick to your good old Folgers. $3,500 doorstop. Let's be honest, when it comes to holding your door open, does anyone really use actual doorstops anymore? Usually a chair or a shoe would do the trick nicely, but for those of us who want a legit doorstop, well, feast your eyes on this bad boy of a doorstop designed by Tobias Wong. Cool story about this doorstop, though. Concrete was poured into an Alvar Alto Savoy vase, smashed, and voila! The $3,500 doorstop was born for all to marvel and prop open their doors with. 12 pounds of stylish concrete for that price might seem pretty steep, but Wong only produced 12 versions of it. I suppose if you weren't one of the lucky ones to nab your very own $3,500 piece of concrete to fix your loose door, then why not buy your own Savoy vase, pour in a bag of cement, and produce your own doorstop? But if you managed to find one of these original Tobias Wong doorstops, you would probably save yourself the time and effort needed to make this fancy item. The $27,000 pair of jeans. So when we go shopping for clothes, the majority of us tend to veer towards the sale racks. When it comes to jeans, yes, there are a lot of cool and funky styles out there. Dark denim, ripped, baggy, various colors. But if you're looking for a true signature piece in your wardrobe that is nothing like you've ever seen or probably nothing like anyone's ever seen, and money is not an issue unless your credit card bill comes around, check out British artist Damien Hirst's collaboration with Levi's. Hurst is known for his spin technique that he developed in his Brixton studio in 1992. A hipster's dream come true, these bad boys are serious. Colorful is an understatement, but holy moly are these jeans a full-on statement. Retailing the same as a nice car, these fancy pants run for $27,000. If breaking the bank for the sake of wearing an explosion of splatter on your legs is your thing, these pants will surely do the trick. This screaming pair of pants, also known as the spin pants, only had eight recorded releases throughout the world. I really wonder if they were all sold and if any of those spin pants purchases have actually been worn in public. $60,000 Water Bottle well, we already know that plastic bottles are really crappy for the environment. They're often toxic, not disposable, and aren't cool at all, to be honest. What if you could go to the gym and feel like the sickest dude there and be environmentally conscientious about consuming water? This 750 milliliter 24 karat solid gold bottle excessively titled Aqua di Cristallo Tributo a Modigliani contains water sourced from France and Fiji. It also contains glacier water from Iceland. Oh boy, fancy! Fernando Altamirano, the mastermind behind Tequila Lay, developed his inspiration for the bottle from a cognac Dugongyong Heritage Henry IV, supposedly the most costly cognac in the world. So how else does this water bottle deserve its price tag of $60,000? It does come with a pretty sweet leather case and 5 milligrams of 23 karat gold dust. I wonder if gold dust makes for a good energy boost while getting hydrated during your workout. After purchasing a water bottle of this level of overkill, buying any other type of bottle that's under $2 will be most underwhelming. The design of the bottle was inspired by the work of Italian artist Amidio Clemente Modigliani and served as a tribute to his art. Having this bottle might be a fun conversation piece at the gym, but the price tag might have folks holding their wallets closely in reluctance. You know, I think I'd be just fine with my basic bottle though. $250,000 shirt. If you're looking to make a statement with your wardrobe, look no further than a 22 karat gold shirt. Sure, it's kinda heavy weighing in at about seven pounds, but Indian gold enthusiast Dada Fouche, also known as the gold man, lived out his dream of literally wearing as much gold as possible. 
This gold top took the effort of a team of goldsmiths from Ranker Jewelers to create. It took 15 days, inclusive of 16 hours a day, to develop this incredible gold creation. You might be asking, um, how would you wash this shirt? Well, it certainly looks like an article of clothing that could destroy your washing machine, but due to the fact that the shirt is lined with velvet, it simply cannot be washed. Therefore, Fuge wore it only on occasion with a bodyguard to follow him around. So unfortunately, this is not the type of garment you're going to want to wear to the gym or on a steamy first date. Although, one of Fuge's intentions with the shirt was to woo women. Fuge wasn't the only one with this golden idea. Indian businessman Pankaj Parak seems to also want to get on board with the whole gold shirt thing, which he reportedly spent $213,000 on. Made out of 18 to 22 karat gold and weighing 9 pounds, the team required to assemble this garment art piece took 20 men 3,200 hours. Oh, the lengths we'll go to be a walking piece of jewelry. <sighs> the $1.3 million toilet paper roll. Have you ever sat on the can, looked at your roll of toilet paper and thought, man, I deserve so much more than this two-ply boring recycled paper that I gotta use day in and day out? And you'd be totally right. Why settle for something so lame and basic when you can splurge on 22 karat gold toilet paper instead? That's right, Australian company Toilet Paper Man actually created a single roll of gold toilet paper, and they say it's completely safe to use and dispose of. So now you can give in to your innermost desire and spoil your rear with a full roll of gold toilet paper. At a ticket price of $1.3 million, you'd have the luxury of cleaning up the mess left by your bodily functions with lavish three-ply gold toilet paper. Whoever is rich enough to indulge in this item will certainly take their sophistication to a whole new level. Apparently, if you can afford to buy this swanky tissue, you'll have your $1 million roll delivered with a bottle of champagne, which I suppose you might as well enjoy while doing some serious business on the porcelain throne. Talk about flushing your money down the toilet. But hey, your guests will be wowed, and you'll feel like you're finally part of the wealthy club. Good for you! But please, use one square at a time. You only get one roll, remember? The $2.3 million TV. Have you ever watched your TV? I mean, like, really watched your TV? Analyzing the shape, the size, and the style. It's nothing really that exciting, am I right? Typically black, flat, unless you're still stuck in the 90s, well, then we might have a problem. Or you aren't ready to join the rest of us in the 21st century. But maybe, just maybe, some of you are into taking your television up a notch. Like, really up a notch. How about some alligator skin? An 18 karat rose gold frame, perhaps? Add on maybe 48 encrusted diamonds, some sunstone and amethyst? Sounds pretty nice, right? Well, for the deal breaker price of $2.3 million, Stuart Hughes Prestige HD Supreme Rose Edition TV set is a 55 inch luxury entertainment marvel. Now, Stuart Hughes seems to have a fetish for raising price tags on everyday items that are already pretty expensive in their original form. Hughes is also known for selling gold-plated iPhones, MacBooks, liquor bottles, and furniture. Want to know the most expensive game console in the world? How about a gold-plated Nintendo Wii? It's really amazing how gold and diamonds can make everyday, ordinary things just seem so much more special. Priced nearly on par with the Bugatti Veyron hypercar, this TV has got me all kinds of giddy. What's the point in even turning on this fancy prestige HD TV anyway? It's entertaining enough just to look at it. It's got more sparkle than the eyes of a two-week-old kitten. Well, now that you probably feel super mediocre with your life, how about you sit back, reflect, and figure out all the ways you can make your basic everyday things a lot more classy? Hint, buy a can of gold spray paint and just go nuts with it. Everything looks more expensive in gold.